What's up guys, Chris here from Mainly Mesh. Welcome to Wall Ball Wednesday, episode two of this 2016 summer. Gonna be taking you guys through some very basic behind the back passing, shooting, motions. This is just kind of the old school way of doing it and really it's all you need to know in terms of putting a behind the back shot in the back of the net. Obviously if you wanna do some crazy like full field pass behind the back stuff, it's a slightly different mechanic than what I'm about to talk about. But just for in terms of getting a nice little quick behind the back shot when you don't have a good enough angle coming around the cage, this is all the mechanic work that you need. So what we're going to be doing here, and if you've ever watched a game with Quint Kesnick, you've probably heard him mention this about going behind the back and snapping the top part of your shaft off your shoulder. And he's always like, you got to do it so much that your shoulder's sore. Love you, Quint. Um, but he does make a good point. All we're gonna be working on here is trying to keep the stick as vertical as possible in order to make this as close to an overhand motion as possible. Where people really get in trouble when they're doing their behind the back, trying to work on it kind of from the ground up, is they reach too far around and they're worried too much about kind of slinging it with speed and their stick is traveling in this awkward kind of shovel pass motion. A shovel pass really just isn't a consistent motion for a lacrosse stick. It doesn't have that same push-pull that our overhand shots do and it's more of just kind of hoping that the ball slides out in the right spot. So if you really notice that you're not finding the same spot on the wall, it's probably because you're doing some weird sling, sling motion that isn't quite as accurate. What we're going to do today is we're going to keep our hands as if we were going back ready for a shot except we're going to drop them even lower. So my bottom hand is going to be right about at hip level. My top hand is in the shooting position, so it's not high up on the stick. It's nice and low, about a third of the way uh, uh, above my bottom hand. Bottom hand is low around the hip, and all I'm going to do is snap this top section of my shaft right off my shoulder. And so if I'm aiming, here I'll slide you guys over so I can try to hit a target. If I'm aiming for this little rectangle on the wall, all I have to do is start looking towards my target. And the more overhand I get it, the more I can really start honing in, maybe, and hitting that target. So you should be able to hear a solid thud off your shoulder every time you're doing this motion. Is that coming out with a lot of velocity? Obviously not. But most of these shots that you're going to be taking are really only from this distance. So right now I'm about seven yards away from the wall and that is more than enough speed if you place that, get it high to low, to beat a goalie. In order to tweak whether or not the shot is going high or low, all I'm going to do is be moving my bottom hand higher or lower on my waist. If I want that shot to go lower, I'm going to push my bottom hand lower and away from my body so that the stick is pointing more at a downwards angle when I'm coming out of that BTB. If I want it higher, I'm going to raise my top hand slightly so that the stick is hitting the fan. But that's pretty much it for you guys today. Really simple BTB motion. Ask me if you guys have any more questions in the comments down below. <coughs> I'm going to go <coughs> hack up along. Thanks so much, guys. Catch you guys next time.